How are you, Meredith? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for stopping by. Let's talk season five. Okay. First of all, how did we get here? It's been, uh, I feel like we blinked and now we're on season five. It, it is, it is crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Life is just flying by. Yeah. Okay. So what can we expect this season? Um, well, I think we all saw from, you know, the teaser that there's a lot of conflicts, a lot of drama, mm -hmm. um, ups and downs, you know, a lot of reconciliations and failed reconciliations and so it's kind of par for the course with my group of women. Yeah. <laughs> New faces, returning faces. Yes. Um, do you think some of the drama and you know the ups and downs that we're seeing is just, I mean, we're on season five. There's been so much history between these group of women. I think that plays into it. I also think like we're a group that is just we are we all think differently. We are wired mm -hmm. differently. You know, some some people are offended by things that others can't even understand, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just ripe for conflict. Yeah. Where do you find yourself? Where do I find myself? In the conflicts mm -hmm. or in what way? Yes, even just with the way you said about the personalities. Oh, well, I'm, of course, a rational, reasonable one, <laughs> and everyone else isn't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I do think, generally speaking, that I try to be reasonable and rational, but we all have just mm -hmm. di different interpretations on things. And the way I see it may be very different than the way somebody else sees it. Yeah, before we get into your relationship with the other cast members, let's talk about your bat mitzvah that we get to see. Yes, that was um, really special and spectacular. Mm -hmm. I um, was not bat mitzvahed as a teenager, and it's something that my husband had been encouraging, encouraging me to do from the time we started with our kids, being bar and bat mitzvahed. Mm -hmm. And I just um, wasn't ready, you know? Mm -hmm. I, it's, it's a big commitment, obviously. It takes yeah. a lot of work. And I am, you know, very proud of being Jewish, um, I'm not really a very religious person, but it is my heritage. And I thought it was just really important to kind of, you know, connect there. Yeah. So. Why was now the right time? I think when, you know, you see what has gone on in the world, mm -hmm. it was just important to me to feel that connection. And that was a part of it, but then also it's, my, my life it, over these last years has been a course of new beginnings. You know, Seth and I say we're on our second marriage. We technically did not divorce, but we were close, like yeah. very much teetering. And we are in a different relationship, a different marriage. You know, I could say the same for my friendship with Lisa Barlow. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a new beginning, a different friendship. Um, and as I grow my businesses and expand into, you know, building up more of a lifestyle brand and in all these new categories, it's yeah. a new beginning. My children are all adults now. So to me, this was just, it, it just resonated right now between what's going on in my life and what's going on everywhere. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it makes sense. There's so many um, connections between everything that's going on that, that would make it the right time to have a bat mitzvah. You mentioned Lisa. Let's talk about your friendship with Lisa. What is it? How does it play out this season? I mean, I'm not going to tell you where it all lands yeah. because, I give, you know, we don't want to give everything away. But, you know, you can see that we're starting off on a different foot. And I think there had been a lot of misunderstandings between us. A lot of, there was definitely problems. I'm not yeah. denying that. But on top of it, there were also a lot of misunderstandings and um, miscommunications. And, you know, I think some of the other women, I don't know, they don't really want us to be friends is what it feels like. I feel like there's been a lot of gas poured on the fire between us. Mm -hmm. And she and I both see that and we kind of, um, I think are, once you're aware of a situation like that, it's easy to navigate it because yeah. it's like, oh, okay, I hear what you're saying and I also know you have ulterior motives, you know? so. It, it, it's good. You'll see. Well, you'll see where we land. Yeah. There seems to be, obviously, when you bring a group of people together, there could be a game of telephone, and it seems like there is a game of telephone that plays out this season between you and Whitney. Do you think things, I guess I would say, is it more complicated because of the business aspect of it and similarities? Um, 
I don't know. I, I don't know. I think that, you know, Whitney says things and just has no regard for the consequences of the things that she says. And she'll speculate on things and say them as if they're facts. Or, you know, labeling someone and it is not an opinion. You know, call like she's like, this is my opinion. Well, calling someone a villain, that's not an opinion. That's a label that's degrading their character. It's, it's not just an opinion, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if somebody said horrible things about her and said that's my opinion, it's, those are two different things. Your opinion is talking about actual behaviors, not labels, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So um, I don't know, I mean, sure, if she thinks it's okay to express all her opinions, then I guess we should too. And, about do her. We, and do we see that happen? Um, not like she does. I just, I, I, I don't mm -hmm. operate that way. We don't, we don't operate in the same way. Okay. Um, someone else whose opinions ruffle some feathers is Mary. Uh, and she is a returning face this season. Uh, what was your reaction when you found out she was coming back? Um, I wasn't at all surprised. I mean, she was, you know, around last year too, mm -hmm. so. No, no surprise. I kind of assumed it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, she does happen to say some things that don't land too well with people. What is your opinion of her? Um, you know, as you saw in the teaser, she and I have conflict this season. Um, I wish I could tell you what the conflict is over, but I can't. I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. The only thing I saw was she brought up things that were from ages ago that we had already talked about like so it felt very sort of contrived to me it was odd mm. um, so I don't really know what the problem is there which is a bit unsettling for me because um, usually when there's a problem I like to understand what it is and usually when someone starts coming at me there should be like a reason for it especially when receipts. I've been there for them for years when nobody else would be so, um, so without, if you can't go into the issue between you two, what do you find is generally why you guys butt heads? Or in that moment, I guess. I truly don't understand the issue. I, it felt like she was looking for trouble with me. And I, I felt like she wanted to pick a fight with me. And I don't, I don't know, perhaps are others that? are in her ear. You know, she has all these new friends, and that's great. I'm happy for her. She should, you know. I didn't ever want to see Mary on an island, you know, and, and only speaking to me. Like, she should have friends. We all should, you know. So that's good. I don't know if, if like, maybe that's part of it. Mm -hmm. I think, as you'll see things unfold, it definitely may have played a, a portion of it. But it Were wasn't you hurt by the it? focus of her anger. Yeah, I was definitely hurt by it because I just, it was like, I didn't even get it. I was like, What's going on here? This is just weird. Yeah. Like it made no sense to me. And where do we find you and Seth this season? So it's or a rocky road you sometimes. Yeah. We're great. You know, it's it's been it's been a little bit of a, a trying year for us because he has really had to spend a lot of time in um, Ohio again for work. This time Columbus, <laughs> um, and. It's hard because, for the most part, he's been working remotely since COVID, and so he's been mm -hmm. like on my schedule. He's if I'm like I have to be in New York, it's like okay, great, I'll work from New York, you know. Yeah. And that changes this this year, and it, it it's we we have a little bit of a rocky time acclimating to that again. It, it was, it's hard. I'm still having trouble with it, you know. It's yeah. still difficult because I miss him. You know, and, and we're on different schedules, and then you're not communicating, and then things start to feel transactional, which is where things went downhill for us the last time. So you'll see. We have some ups and downs, yeah. and, you know, it's part of marriage. What can you tell us about Bronwyn? So Bronwyn, I actually met, I would say, like, about five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I do not did not know her well at all coming into the season. We met... Um, once at an event in my store, and then we had drinks one night, and then mm -hmm. COVID hit, and we kind of like lost touch and, and that whole thing. So. 
Uh, so I don't know her all that well. Um, she's definitely a strong personality. She's definitely got a lot of opinions, which we like to see, right? Um, I have to see how everything unfolds with all, not just Brahma, with all, all the new women, because, you know, I've, I've been around the block a few times, and yeah. I always realize there's stuff that goes on when you're not there that you don't know about. Mm -hmm. So um, for all three of them, I will probably hold off on making any real decisions until okay. I see how everything unfolds. That's fair. That's fair. Um, can we see a, a reconciliation between you and Monica? I mean, I don't talk to Monica, so, you know, there's... I, I don't know how that would happen. Okay. Uh, speaking of communicating, have you been in touch with Jen Shaw at all? I have not. Um, occasionally, I'll have contact with Sharif. I, I did hear from him, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago, and occasionally I'll have contact with like her manager. He'll send a note, you know, kind of checking in and saying how she's doing and stuff like that. Do you know like how that. she's doing? It sounds like she's doing pretty well. I mean, it sounds like Obviously, it's not an ideal situation for anybody, but given the circumstances, it sounds like she's, you know, doing well, and she's found her footing there and is, you know, I mean, I've heard that she's, like, doing fitness classes and uh, at some point was, like, doing some makeup stuff, and, like, so she, you know, she's finding something to do to fill the time because it's a lot of time on your hands, you know? Yeah. Does Sharif seem to be holding up as well? He does. I mean, I, I, I think... Given what's going on, they're doing good, you know? It's yeah. not what anyone wishes for in their life, of course, but, you know, it is what it is, and yeah. they're navigating. Just an overall recap, what do you think fans are going to be most excited about this season? Hmm. Um, I think the overall up-and-down dynamics that go on, it's just, mm -hmm. it's wild because there is like so many different conflicts like yeah. so many to the point where you know it's it's, it's confusing yeah. to me so i'm sure we'll make sure it's not as confusing to them <laughs> but um but yeah i think they're just gonna love watching the ups and downs a lot this is one of the newer franchises and it hit right usually some of them fade off but this one i mean it has staying power what do you think it was about salt lake city that uh, people gravitated towards? I think it's a combination. I mean, some of it is just crazy circumstance. Like, I mean, the things that have happened in people's lives during this time that are a part of the show have been, you know, wild. Like, mm -hmm. so that right there is obviously compelling. But I also think that it is these crazy dynamics where we all just process information so differently that it's just this constant, you know, conflict and yet at least some of us love each other and support each other and so it's you know it's it's seeing the evolution of these relationships and friendships and and very very different personalities and dynamics